Hey everyone, this is Tankenstein. Today I will be bringing you your complete and comprehensive explanation of the War Thunder Marketplace. There's a lot to go over in this video. I'll be going over exactly what the Marketplace is, exactly where to find it, how to use it, and also how to benefit from it. So that said, stay tuned and let's get into it. So to start, the marketplace is just that. It's a place that you can buy and sell goods. And these goods can be anything from tanks to skins to decorators, keys, so on and so forth. There are tons of things to buy on the marketplace. And their rarity can range from common to ultra rare. Common being white, uncommon being green, blue being rare, and ultra rare being kind of a purpley uh, mauve color, if you will. And in fact, this skin on my Panther 2 is actually a rare skin that I purchased on the marketplace uh, for actually a pretty low price when, uh, when I had gotten it. So in order just to kind of see where these skins are, so you can actually go to each one of your vehicles. And for example, if I were to go to the Yag Tiger, I could see right here that there is a skin available that I had not purchased. I actually a few months ago was going to purchase it when it was like $3. Now it's probably uh, several times that price. And, uh, and you can just kind of go to each vehicle that you want and check out the skins. And if you want to purchase that skin specifically without having to search for it in the marketplace, you can simply click on Find Marketplace here. Uh, additionally, as I had mentioned before, I do have this skin from... Uh, from the marketplace so in order to activate a skin from the marketplace all that you have to do is either go to that customize option check out your skins or go here and then you can just click consume uh, once you reach the skin that you want so that being said that is actually one of the main ways that you can find the marketplace so, uh, if you do have a specific item that you do want to find again you can just click find on marketplace and you will be able to find it from there uh, additionally you can find the marketplace by going to research and for example i've got the kv1b selected here if i wanted to uh, as you can see this little symbol here notates marketplace it does not have a golden eagle value next to it again because this is a marketplace vehicle i could just click on find on marketplace and then you will see its listing with sell and buy offers there are some interface problems so i'll have to show marketplace separate from more thunder however it is the same exact layout to a t uh, so before i do that just the final place where you can find marketplace is if you go up to shop click marketplace and you'll be brought in that said let's look at the marketplace so as i mentioned before the website trade.gaijin.net is exactly as it will appear in the game so everything i do here is exactly as it will be in the game uh, so just bear that in mind as I go through and one actually really cool thing about trade.gaijin.net is if you are looking to buy something at a specific time or maybe you thought of something while you're out at work, uh, you can just simply access this with your account and actually purchase things through here. So it's a really cool way to kind of get things or sell things on the go, especially if, if you're kind of keeping track of the market because ultimately there is a market and this is driven by uh, supply and demand. So for example, with the object 279, as you can see here, it currently is 64.90 GJN. The price will likely go up as the supply diminishes uh, as more and more of these get sold. So uh, just bear that in mind. There's currently 1,879 sell orders, but there will be far fewer as time goes on. And more likely than not, again, this will continue to rise. So that being said, I'll just kind of show you first how to navigate and I'll show you all the other basics of the marketplace and kind of how to use it. So the main screen will show more or less your most purchased and sold items. The Object 279 being the most purchased right now just because it's a recent event vehicle. But beyond that, you'll have a lot of times you'll have a lot of keys on the, the main page and they will almost always be 2.49 GJN. And you can just kind of navigate in general from here. Again, this will just show the most popular items without having to filter. Uh, that also being said you can click on whatever filters you want over here and kind of go from there so if i want to i click germany rare and then you'll see the puma uh, which sells for 600 almost 600 gjn and or you could you know put a buy order in for whatever you want so if i wanted to i could put a buy order in for 588 let's say if i think this guy at 589 is highballing it i could just decide hey i'm going to sell it for five or buy it for 588 you better you know you better sell it to me for that price. And if somebody wants to sell it to you for that price, they'll just take you up on it. All, all these funds right here are tied up. This guy put down 310 GJN uh, in order to buy it. So if somebody decides to sell it 
right now for him, uh, you know, for that price, he'll get it and he'll just see a total of 310 GJN subtracted from his account. That being said, what is GJN? GJN is the currency that really runs the marketplace. And GJN, if I'm not mistaken, is based on the euro, so it's a more or less a one-to-one -one conversion. However, if you do have USD, it's typically between about one uh, to 1.25 or 1.5. So, you know, when you see these items, for example, let's say if you saw a $10 item or 10 GJN item on the marketplace, more likely than not, it will cost between 12.50 and 15 USD. So when you see this uh, 589 GJN item, it'll probably cost you closer to 700 GJN or possibly significantly more. Uh, so just really bear that in mind when you're looking to buy things, uh, because oftentimes when you go up here, click replenish, uh, that's how you actually put items or put money into your GJN. Uh, you know, if you want 10 GGN, it will likely cost you quite a bit more if you function uh, with USDs. Uh, so just bear that in mind. So, and also another really important thing to note is that when you click sell on the auction house or the marketplace, uh, when you click sell, it will automatically default to selling at this price, but you can decide to sell it at whatever price you want. So you can, that's what these guys did. You can put it up for 588 if you want, and maybe someone will buy it. Uh, and also one thing to keep in mind is that if it does sell, Gaijin will take a part of the profit. If I'm not mistaken, it's between between 10 and 20% total GJN. So not only do they make money from you buying GJN, but they'll make money from you selling it as well. So it's really important to know that. Uh, so if you're thinking that, you, for example, if you sell something for 100 GJN, you will only be able to get, if I'm not mistaken, 80 or 90 out of it. So you'll still be able to make the majority of it, but it's it's still not all that you will be uh, that you thought you'd be making. And one other really, really incredibly important thing to note is that if you think that you're grinding an event and you can sell the item for uh, let's say 100 GJN, and then you can convert that to whatever currency uh, your government accepts as legal tender. It will not happen. when, As soon as something gets put into the system, as soon as something is converted or sold for GJN, you can never convert it out of that. So you cannot buy Steam games with GJN. You cannot convert GJN to some sort of Steam currency. Uh, you cannot convert GJN to anything else. Once it becomes GJN, it stays GJN, and that's it. It's a closed economy uh, from there. So just bear that in mind. And, and really just finally, the, the final point, it's not really all too important, but it kind of is if you're looking for something specific. If I really wanted to uh, search for something, let's say type in ME262, just go here, and that shows everything uh, ME262 related. Uh, you know, and typically it, it will be just skins, but you know, bear that in mind. And if I want to get rid of that filter, click on that and it just goes right back to normal. So tons really to learn about the marketplace uh, and there's a lot to be aware of, but just make sure that you're kind of doing it smart and uh, not being tricked by Gaijin because they will make a profit from you. You are not going to game the system for every $2.50 key that you will make or that you buy. Uh, more likely than not, if you open a chest with that, you're not going to make 250 GJM back. That's just kind of a given. Uh, you know, occasionally you will luck out and get that really, really rare vehicle. And if you want, you can sell it. But more likely than not, you will not get those. And any money that you put into buying keys, uh, you're just not going to make back. Either way, uh, that's really it for the video. Please tell me what you guys think. I hope I really enlightened you when it comes to the marketplace. Remember, please like, comment, and subscribe. Subscriptions mean so much to me. But either way, this is Tankenstein signing out for tonight. Hope you guys enjoyed my video. Again, I hope you guys learned a lot. And I will see you all on the other side. Take care, everybody.